Houston Texans lost once again to the Green Bay Packers. <sighs> Seems like it's always happening. Texans losing a game. It was a game that never was close. Hello, everybody. I'm Brick Boy. Brick Boy. Why, why, why? I'm Brick Boy, and we're here to discuss the Texans' loss to the Packers. Texans move to 0-6 on the year as Adams throws a touchdown. Adams catches a touchdown. He did me well in fantasy, at least. The only bright spot about that game. Deshaun Watson, he was solid. He did not have a good first half. But he did pick it up in the second half. There were just so many bad holding calls on the Texans. That really could have been avoided and probably produced 10 more points, maybe. And would have kept them in the game. It's just... Aaron Rodgers torched the, the Texans' defense. Devontae Adam? Yeah, he just uh, walked around on the Texans. Man, Texans' defense is so bad. And in my, you gotta think, is this the last game for J.J. Watt as a Texan? They're definitely gonna be making some moves at the deadline. Maybe trading Watt. Or... Anybody on this defense can go except Con Gary on Conley. But I don't even know if you can trade injured players in this league. This game, I mean, it really wasn't close. Texans scored Gord at the start of the second half. Looked like they may have had momentum until you know, that died. I mean, as you can see here, 14 nothing Watson getting sacked. Even though he stayed on his feet. So was that a sack? It wasn't really a sack. Until he went down. Once again, another terrible call on the Texans. As you can see, a great catch there. Great throw. Could have been more if he had just thrown a bit better. <sighs> That's just the Texans, man. You just gotta outscore them, basically. The other team, but they were not able to do that. Packers, they... I mean, what was this punt return here? Was awful. They were pinned at the three. <clears throat> I mean, it was just brutal. The game wasn't even close. They had a good second half showing, but the first half just put them in too big of a hole to come back. Watson played all right. He, had a, he didn't do terrible. He had some good plays. But other than that, I mean, the game just wasn't close. He had two touchdowns. Watson had two touchdowns. 309 yards about that. Just the one touchdown came in garbage time when no one cared anymore. <sighs> Texans, they gotta get better. They have a talented team, they just gotta improve. They go into their bye, definitely looking to make some trades. You could trade Watt, any one on the defensive side. You keep the offense intact. The offensive line wasn't was terrible, but it wasn't as bad in recent games. Giving Watson a bit of time. And just the holding calls. You see, he set up a missed 41-yarder. <sighs> a, a perfect drive just wasted there. And then, hey, um, Rodgers, Adams, not much you can say. Texans were horrid in this game. I mean, their defense didn't play that bad in the second half. It's just their first half. The offense couldn't get going in the first half. Rodgers just torched the Texans, and, well, not much you can say. Texans lost in their color rush jerseys. It really makes me question life right now. But, doesn't matter. They go to Jacksonville in Week 9, then to Cleveland, and then they have New England, Detroit, and so on. I don't think the Texans' season's over, per se. Um, it's definitely not where they want to be. Definitely not, as you saw. I mean, Watson and Watt were frustrated. In the post-game interview, I mean, Watt, this might be his last game as a Texan. and Yeah, he just said he couldn't get his 100th sack. Just not a watch for Texan fans. I mean, as you can see, they're going to score here. It may have brought a little life into the stadium, but... Nice catch, Johnson. Dude, David Johnson was just awful today. His run game, I don't know. Our run game is just awful. I would start Duke Johnson more. Start 
trade David Johnson for literally anybody. I mean, you could probably package Stills and Johnson and get, like, a first, second rounder. Okay, second rounder, maybe a third, sec third rounder. Wouldn't be that bad. As you can see, Adams, that, that, that play right there sucked the life out of the stadium. Yeah, I mean, after that play, I was like, yeah, this game's over. No, there's no chance of a comeback. I mean, just watch this. This, there's just, they had no life. This is probably the only good run by David Johnson the whole game. It was pretty good, though. Just second and one. I mean, play calling wasn't terrible for the offense. It's just the defense. It's just They just had to start converting. They can't do these bogus holding calls. Watson getting sacked for like a millionth time in his life. Texans have the talent to make a playoff push. I don't think their season's over. I mean, looking at the Texans' schedule, they have they have Jacksonville. They can win that one. Cleveland, they can win. That'll be tough. They can win New England. They're down like 30-6, to six, I think. They're down by like 30 points. As you can see, the Texans blocked a field goal. They had life for a second. Only a second. And, I mean, Watson... He made some good decisions, but there are definitely some bad decisions he made in this game. That just, if he, just the Texans, they need to make some trades. They need to trade for um, better offensive linemen. That was a good tackle right there by the Packers. The Packers play well. I mean, Rodgers, it's the Texans, so, you know, quarterback playing well. Doesn't say much, but Rodgers played great. Adams played great. Jamal Williams had a good game. I do feel like the Texans' pass defense has gotten a bit better. Not pass, rush defense. I know you're probably like, no, they haven't. But, I mean, they have. They're, just, they're limiting the runs. They look terrible in the first couple weeks. This right here. This is where I... This this play right here. This was pretty much the game. And, uh, I, yeah. Uh, I don't know what that was. I think it was supposed to dip it, throw it to Johnson, maybe get a first. Get it and get a first, but I mean that was questionable. And then, well, the Packers just like, yep, we got this in the bag. Let's just go with it. Can create a play calling for the fun of it. And that's really it. Texans got crushed. They head to Jacksonville in week nine. They're on their bye for week eight. It's not much you can say, man. Packers played great today. The Adams played great. Thank you for fantasy. Fonte Adams, 44 points. Thank you. But, I mean, I thought the Texans would get make it closer because they didn't have Aaron Jones, but boy, was I wrong. Texans have obviously have room to improve. I don't think their season's over. They can still win out. Okay, I don't know about win out, but they can still go 9-7. and seven. Patriots lost today. The Buccaneers beat the Raiders today. Those two teams that will threaten the Texans for a playoff spot. Number you can say, Texans, they just got to make moves. Maybe trade Stills, maybe trade Watt. You could even consider trading Tunsil. But thank you all for joining me in another video. Look at that, they recovered an onside kick. Cowboys and Texans, they think they might be the only two teams to co cover an onside kick. I wonder what I tell you about the state of Texas for onside kicks. Texans recovered it, but then the next play wasn't nice. Thank you all so much for joining me in another video. <coughs> I'll see you later. Great job, David Johnson. Great job.